How long has it been since you last had your well water tested? If the answer is more than one year, it's time, according to Gina Peak, a housing and consumer extension specialist for OSU. And if you notice a new odor, taste, or change in color, a quick test can tell you if something's wrong. When it comes to maintaining your water source, keep it simple to avoid contamination of the wellhead. You need to make sure that you don't store any fertilizers near it, any chemicals, paints, any agricultural products, none of that stuff can go near your well. Okay, so it's not just even probably just storing stuff there, but if I wanted to plant something around there, is that, is that okay to do? Because it's not real sightly. What if I wanted to cover it up with plants? Is that okay? Well, if you cover it up, the problem is that you can't go out and make a monthly inspection to look for cracks or broken places on your wellhead. What you need to do is keep that area free so you can go and take a look at it when you need to. The other thing is, is that if you plant things near your well and then you use fertilizers, you run the risk of contaminating your water supply. Okay, so there's a lot that goes into it. Why don't we go inside and get a sample? Let's. Okay. To get a clean sample, ask for a test container from your county extension educator. And you're gonna fill it up about halfway, put the cap on, shake it. You're gonna do this four times. After that fourth time, what you want to do is you want to fill it up all the way and you want to make sure that there are no air bubbles in it. Put the cap on. From there, label your bottle so the lab can keep track of it. The water sample is only as good as you make it. So by following the directions, you're going to ensure that you get a good quality sample. Okay, so I've given them a, a good quality sample to test and they give me a, res, a result sheet back. But what do those results mean? Well, a lot of times what you'll see, uh, depending on the tests that you've had done, you'll see what is in your water versus acceptable standards. And if you need help interpreting your report, don't hesitate to contact your local county educator. 